All right, guys, so to start off my tree, I begin with a brush size of two, and I just start dragging the trunk shape up that I want. You can do any shape that you want. I did mine fairly straight. It's just leaning slightly to the side. Then I begin on my roots. So for my roots, I get a brush size of one, and I begin dragging them out from the base of the trunk. I don't drag them out directly from the bottom. I start it about three or four blocks up from the base of the trunk, and then I kind of drag it down so that they're not too horizontal. They kind of look like they're coming from the trunk, they're part of the trunk. They're not just stuck on there. And for the branches, I do pretty much the same thing. I just kind of put them on the top and vary them in size. You can see there, I kind of split a branch in two, and then I did a slightly longer branch, and then I do another horizontal one, and then I'll do one pointing up and splitting in two. It's kind of just vary it. Depends on the tree. Every tree is different. Never gonna do two of the same, and they're meant to look very organic, so just have fun with it, I guess. So after I get everything laid out, I begin the smoothing process. So what I do is kind of start at the tip of the root and thin it out, and then I kind of drag the blocks for the root up into the trunk of the tree. It's kind of making a little upside down V shape, which you'll see on pretty much every side of this. I kind of try to make the roots really look like they're part of the trunk, like they're leading up into it. So in this clip in particular, you can see how I'm dragging the root shape up into the trunk of the tree. It's hard to get used to, but practice makes perfect. So then I kind of do sort of the same thing on the branches, except I'm dragging the branch down so it doesn't look like it's stuck on per se. Um, I start thinning out the branch at the tip, kind of making it point upwards just a little bit. And then I start just shaping it into the tree, shaping all the branches together. It's a bit of a long process, but just take your time with it. Get the shape you want. Takes a lot of patience. As you can see, I'm kind of jumping around. It's kind of hard for the camera to follow me. As I'm going, I'm kind of I do a branch and then I skip down to the trunk and then I do another root and I just kind of blend it all together because it's all one tree. You don't want to look like a branch is just stuck on there randomly. You want it to look like it all flows together because this tree grew from something very small if it was real and you want to make it look as realistic as possible or at least I do for this tree. So you can see here I was, I'm kind of dragging the branches down into the trunk, trying to make it look as natural as possible. And then I just continue shaping the trunk and the branches together. Once I'm finished with my smoothing and I'm fairly happy with it, I will replace it and then begin smoothing again. So the smoothing process actually takes quite a while. It's the majority of the build is smoothing, even though this is a brush sphere tree. If I just left it as spheres, it wouldn't exactly look very good. So what I do is I replace the diamond block with the full oak log. So the ID for that is 1712. And you can see it right here, switched into our oak block. So that kind of makes the tree look a little bit more real now. So now I continue smoothing with my diamond blocks. You can see me going along. I'm still placing diamond blocks so I can tell where I've smoothed. It kind of makes it a lot easier for me. You don't have to do it like that, but I find if I'm placing actual oak logs, I have to replace them anyways with the full oak log. So I may as well use the diamond blocks so they stand out. I just kind of continue going along, fixing my errors. Once I replace it with the wood, it obviously helps me see a lot of the things that I've missed. For example, in this clip, you can see a branch that I've actually missed. I didn't smooth it, but I, of course, get it. So now that I've got all the branches smoothed, I place a block above each branch, and I put some leaves on each of those blocks. So for my leaves, I use a brush size of two, and I'm just doing regular oak leaves. I don't have no fancy combos, just oak leaves. I'll put the command on the screen. And then where each glass block was, or sea lantern, whichever I use, I kind of just drag the leaves down. Not too much, because I'm not making a willow tree here, it's just an oak tree. But I just kind of shape it around and kind of connect the dots in a creative way. I try not to make it flat around the bottom. This is not a mushroom. 
So I'm making larger like circles of leaves and connecting them together and I want there to be leaves in amongst the branches as well. I don't want it to just look like a cover, like a drape that's gone over the branches. That's not what trees are meant to look like in my opinion. So of course it looks a little weird at this point, but I'm actually not going to smooth this because what I'm going to do when I'm ready is I'm going to just replace it with 60% air and two other blocks. So that'll kind of make it look a little bit more natural. Here you can see in the top how I leave kind of a hole up there just to make it look a little bit more natural, less like the leaves are kind of draped over. You can just leave holes wherever. It doesn't have to be completely covered. There's nowhere that says that. These are natural. Every tree is different. Do what you like. So once I'm kind of happy with my shape, I'm going to replace it and you'll be able to see in this clip how I replace it and then I kind of undo my replace and I go back over and I add some leaves where I think it needs it and then I replace it again. So for replacing, I recommend using at least 60% air. At least. I'll put the command on the screen that I used for this tree specifically, but I don't recommend using any less than 60% air. You want it to look like birds can fly through this tree, like it's real, a real tree. All right, so here's my finished product. I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys learned something from this tree tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe for more. I hope you guys are enjoying my tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.